Why are we stuck in hospital? In England, around 2,000 people with learning disabilities and autistic people live in long-stay hospitals. There have been reports written and some money spent to help get people out, but lots of people have still been in hospital for years with no leaving date. In hospital, it's hard to live an ordinary life. Hostels are often far away from a person's home. It's expensive to keep people in hospital and some people in hospitals are treated badly by staff. There has not been much research about why people with learning disabilities and autistic people get stuck in hospital. The research that has been done did not talk to people who live in hospitals. We wanted to change this. Why Are We Stuck in Hospital was a research project by the University of Birmingham and Changed in Our Lives. We spoke to 27 people with learning disabilities and autistic people. They lived in three hospitals in England. We spoke to some people who had committed crime and some who had not. Some men and some women, some people with learning disabilities and some autistic people. We spoke to some people who had been on LTS, long term segregation. We also spoke to families, hospital staff and commissioners who pay for services and check that they are working well. Social workers, advocates who work with a person to help them speak up for themselves and social care providers who work with people after they leave hospital. We worked with a group of disabled people and carers who checked our work and gave us advice. We also checked our work with a group of campaigners and professionals. These top 10 tips came from interviews with people who live in hospitals, family members and professionals. Tip 1. Our lives are on hold. Do your jobs and get some oomph. Some people had been in hospital for many years. People felt their lives were kept on hold. For a person to get out of hospital, they needed someone who believed in them and would help them fight to get out. This could be family, an advocate or member of staff. Even when people had someone fighting for them, it was very slow. Sometimes there didn't seem to be anyone in charge of helping someone to leave hospital. Professionals did not always talk to each other or know what other people were doing to help. This slowed things down. The stress of the hospital can make your mental health worse. People felt that when someone is feeling better, they need to get out before hospital makes them ill again. Tip 2. See the person beyond the labels. Some people felt that professionals did not really know them or believe they could leave hospital. Professionals made decisions about people's lives based on their labels. It's easy to pick up labels in hospital, especially if you feel unsafe or upset, but it's very hard to get rid of them. Staff reading a person's notes did not see the difficult things that person had been through. They just saw the label. Some services have rules that say they can't work with people who have a certain label. This often has nothing to do with the person and what they really need. Sometimes this made it difficult for people to move on. Tip 3. Don't make me jump through more hoops than is really needy. Some people felt they had to do everything staff asked them to do. 
to prove they were ready to come out of hospital, even if these things didn't help get them ready for life outside hospital. This meant people working towards goals that they didn't really need to. Tip 4. Make sure the criminal justice system is on board when someone has committed an offence. When people have done serious crimes, the NHS and the Ministry of Justice are both in charge of their care and treatment. Some people felt the Ministry of Justice didn't work well with the NHS and made decisions based on paperwork which made it harder to leave hospital. Some people did not need a lot of care and support but they had done very serious crimes. Some professionals felt there should be a new service to help stop these people offending when they leave hospital. Tip 5. Help hospital staff know what's available in the community. Some staff had worked in hospital for many years and did not know what services there were in the community. Some staff didn't think that services outside hospital could meet people's needs, which were seen as too complex. Sometimes there were no services in the community to meet people's needs. Hospitals can work with people from all over the country. Professionals who work in the community need to help hospital staff know what support there is in their area. Tip 6. Don't put us into boxes. Some people seem to be put into whatever service was available, not the service that was best for them. Building support around a person was seen as special or unusual rather than something everyone should get. If professionals were in a rush to get people out of hostels, they would refer people to all services they knew, even if they weren't right for the person. This meant people got turned down a lot. No one mentioned a personal budget, individual service funds or direct payments in our conversations. These tools help people build their own support. Tip 7. Give me the chance to try life outside. Some people felt they had to prove they were ready to live in the community but they couldn't do this until they got the chance to leave hospital. Some people felt that if they made progress in getting better it was seen as being because of hospital. This was used as proof that they needed hospital to keep them well so they could never leave. Tip 8 Please help me with the trauma I've experienced. Most people had lived through trauma with very difficult things happening in their lives. Sometimes things happen in hospital that made this worse. All staff in hospital should understand trauma and how it affects people. Staff should work with people to help them cope with their trauma and heal from it. Tip 9. Don't let us fall through the cracks. Many people had different professional teams in their lives. Sometimes these professionals could not agree who should be in charge of a person's care or pay for it. A person's case could be passed from team to team to the professionals. This felt like moving paperwork about. To the person, this felt like they were a problem that no one wanted to deal with. Tip 10. Don't set us up to fail. Getting out of hospital was very slow for most people, but there was sometimes a rush to get people out before they were ready. People said it 
it's important to go at the person's speed to get them ready to leave hospital. This is not the same as leaving someone stuck in hospital for years. You can find out more about the project by looking on the University of Birmingham's website, Sky website, or Changing Our Lives. There is an easy read version of this report available.